Pizza time. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video of Spidey Beyond. In today's video, we will be exploring Spider-Man's web shooters and how they work. After Peter Parker was bitten by a radioactive spider, he decided that he should use his newfound powers in order to make some money by being a performer and a social figure. Deciding to model his likeness to a spider, Peter created the wrist-worn devices and dubbed them as web shooters. The devices themselves are built out of stainless steel and include many components in its design, such as spinneret mechanisms, turbines, and palm switches. From this, he included a twin spinneret mechanism in both web shooters that allowed the web fluid to change from pasty liquid into a sticky and stretchy solid. Over time, Peter would add many more settings to these nozzles in terms of what shape or density the web would be when it was projected. Powering these spinnerets would be Teflon machine turbine bearings that were crafted from amber and artificial sapphire. This helped with the distance that a web could be shot, as well as how fast it would be projected with a pressure of 300 psi and a length of 60 feet. However, in order to project a web from the mechanism itself, it must first be activated by a sensory solenoid needle valve switch located directly on the palm of the hand. When creating these palm switches, Peter made sure that a web could only be fired using only 65 pounds of pressure so that when he makes a fist or grabs something, he doesn't accidentally fire a web instead. But what exactly is web fluid, and how is it made? Peter developed this cohesive substance to resemble something a little closer to a material such as nylon. The web fluid itself is stored in web cartridges, which are rectangular storage tubes that are loaded into the web shooter itself. The web fluid starts out as a sticky fluid substance until it is triggered by the palm switch, to which then it shoots out a solid yet sticky line of webbing. This is made possible due to air exposure. When a web is fired, the polymer knits itself into a hard, chain-like, flexible fiber while still keeping its adhesive properties. This point of going from a liquid to solid base also negates the possibility of clogging the web shooter's nozzles. The tensile strength of a single web is noted to be about 120 pounds per square millimeter of the cross-section. However, due to such air exposure, the web loses its consistency and potency after an hour and simply turns into water. Over the years, Peter Parker has created multiple versions of his web fluid so that he can fire an array of webs such as shields, barriers, safety nets, and a glue-like substance. But he has also found a way to weaponize his webs as well, creating specialized web cartridges such as ice webbing, acid webbing, taser webbing, impact webbing, web foam, magnetic webbing, concrete webbing, and flame webbing. It has been noted that Spider-Man's web fluid is 2.62 times stronger than steel, but it also leaves an unpleasant odor as well. So there you have it guys, that is how Spider-Man's web shooters actually work. What's your favorite version of the web shooters? Let me know in the comments and leave a like on the video if you want to see more Spider-Man content like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, my fellow webheads, with great power comes great responsibility. Spider-Man's going crazy!